Welcome, namaste. My name is Babette. Good to be here again. Um, very excited about this sequence. Uh, I've been doing it all week long. Um, it's intense. Uh, lots of shoulder strength stuff. I'm going to dig deep into your hips and psoas. Um, have some water towel nearby. Um, breathe through it. Take a break when you need to. And um, I'm going to be offering some quite deeper Kramas progressions. Um, you'll know what I mean when we get there. I'll hop off the train to a point where like, I'm still getting something out of it. I'm challenging myself, but I'm not hurting myself. Um, I went through all the different stages to get to some of these deeper Kramas and they all have their benefits. So um, don't feel discouraged. Uh, be at the progression where you are uh, getting something out of it. Um, and let's get started. Let's start lying on your bellies, please. Make a pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead on the back of your hands, feet about as wide as the mat. Take up space, relaxing the shoulders, softening the chest into the mat. Relax your belly, the thighs, tops of the feet into the mat. You can allow for any bracing tension in the shoulders to just kind of melt off your shoulders and into the ground. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Sealing your lips, breathing in and out through the nose. Firing up your ujjayi breath, a beautiful, gentle friction in the back of your throat to help you streamline your breath. On the next inhale, lift your head and cactus your arms out to the side. Make this come from your back body. Press thighs and tops of the feet into the mat. On the exhale, come down, almost touch down. Inhale, lift up, back body activates. Exhale, take it almost down to the ground. One more time, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, almost touch down. Inhale, hands underneath your shoulders. Exhale, push it back onto your heels. Inhale, slide your hands by your feet as you bring yourself upright and then gently turn your heart up to the ceiling. Little maybe uh, baby back bend. On the exhale, walk your hands forward into a puppy pose. Coming onto your forearms, hips stay over your knees. You can rest your forehead down to the ground, or perhaps if you want to tuck your chin forward, but it is still early, so please be mindful. So you can press the tops of the feet down and parallel your shins, kind of like the number 11. And especially in puppy, the less you do, the more you're gonna get out of it in your shoulders. So you can fully ease into the shoulders, letting the chest come a little closer down to the ground with each exhale that you take. Next inhale, press into the forearms, lifting the head, slide it through on your belly, brief sphinx. And then one more time, make that pillow with your hands, rest your forehead on the back of the hands. Lifting your head off the ground, cactus your arms. Engage the back body, press thighs and tops of the feet down. Exhale, almost touch down. Inhale, engage those beautiful long muscles of your back as you come up. Exhale, take it down, almost touch the ground. One more time, strengthening the back body here as you lift up, gaze can be down. Exhale, hands come down, almost touch down, and then draw your hands underneath your shoulders to a child's pose. Knees nice and wide, big toes touch, just lengthening through your lower back. See if you can lift all 10 fingers and 10 them, pressing fingertips into the mat. Elbows, palms lift off the ground, lengthening through your side waist as if you could breathe in and out through your armpits. Take another breath. Next inhale, follow it, two hands and knees, all fours, tabletop. Shoulders over your wrists, look at your hands, spread your fingers very wide apart. We're gonna take one fierce cat spine, exhale, round back, let the head drop, fiercely press the back of the heart to the ceiling. Next inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, let's step it back to a plank pose, one foot at a time. Always a wonderful place to wake up, drive through the heels, activating legs, glutes. 
always checking in. Am I sitting in my joints or can I lengthen through them? Knitting the ribs in, sliding shoulder blades to the armpits. Activate fingerprints, especially thumb, index, and middle. And then exhale, take it back to your downward facing dog. You can pedal out through your feet. I call it a little head bobble. I think shaking on the head sounds way too aggressive. We're talking about your cervical spine after all. I'd like you just to gently move through the neck, especially where it starts to meet the skull. Hands a little wider, then inner hips width apart. Feet about inner hips. Did I say hands, inner hips? Hands a little wider, then shoulder width apart. I apologize. And your feet are a little wider than inner hips width apart. All right, let's get a little bit more into your spine. Three slow spinal waves. We're gonna think cat on our way forward, cow on our way back. On the inhale, lift your heels, look back and slowly roll it forward into your plank pose. On the exhale, soften the knees, sit bones, lead back into your down dog. The inhale picks you up and pulls you over into your plank. And then exhale through that bit of a cow spine. Take it back to down dog. One more time. Inhale, roll it forward. And on the exhale, send it back to your downward facing dog. Switching it up. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, knees down. Keep the toes tucked. You're in a tabletop. Arc your back. Bring your shoulders over the wrist. Bend your elbows back, chest and chin touch down. Ashtangasana on top of your toes. Inhale, slide it through on your belly, low cobra. Lift your hands off the ground. Exhale, take them back. Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand for the top of your right foot and pull the right heel in closer to your glute. Notice if you're holding your breath, relax your face. And then mindfully release your right foot, hands go underneath your shoulders. Exhale, all fours. Reach up your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to your plank, ripple it through. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin coming down. Inhale, slide it through, on tucking the toes, low cobra. Lift your hands off the ground and then take them back. Exhale, bend your left knee, reach back for the left foot. And then draw that heel in towards your glute. And just checking in, we want to relax the jaw and the forehead. Relax the left foot down, hand goes back underneath the shoulder, press it back. All fours, re-tucking the toes, down dog. One more variation for you. Inhale, coming forward to your plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Find that beautiful cow spine. Inhale, slide it through into low cobra. Lift both hands off the ground and then take them back. Bend both knees this time, toes face up. Take your feet a little wider than inner hips or your knees, that is. And then reach back for the tops of your feet. We will not take down your ass and not quite the opposite. Just draw the heels into your glutes. You can even flip your grip and grab the big toe edges of your feet and then draw the heels in towards you. Take it once. Take it twice, and then draw and release the heels. Draw the hands underneath your shoulders, back to all fours, downward facing dog. Nice long inhale through the nose. Maybe side out. Upper body is uh, nice and warm. Let's uh, go through a regular vinyasa. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, rolling onto the tops of the feet. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath. All right. On the next exhale, walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. Exhaling, 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 exhaling until you're in Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold release. Twice more, inhale, half away lift. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. And then one more time, inhale, find that tabletop spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take your feet about as wide as the mat, toes face out, heels in. On the inhale, reach your arms up overhead. 
On the exhale, bend the knees lower down like an elevator as far as you want for your malasana. Press down through the heels, inhale, come back up. We'll do that twice more. Exhale, lower it down as far as you want. And then inhale, coming back up, press down through the heels. Exhale, take it back down. Then have a seat in your malasana here. So you can uh, move the weight a little back to the pinky toe edges of your feet, shine your heart forward. And then we'll do something different. On the inhale, let your hands come down, palms face up, round the spine. Let the head drop, maybe even gently let your tailbone come a little bit more underneath you. On the inhale, hands go back to the heart, elbows, inner knees. Exhale, let the hands come down, round the spine, relax, let it go. Inhale, hands to heart, elbows, inner knees, malasana. And then one more time, exhale, go for that relaxation. Next inhale, hands back to the heart, finding your malasana. And then uh, something I always want to try, but never get a chance to do. Let's uh, bring your hands beside you and lower down into your seat. Walk your feet forward. Roughly outer edges of your mat, I'm going to scoot a bit forward. Knees face up, super tall spine. Let both knees drop to your left. You're in a figure four, figure four. Turn your whole upper body to your left. Stay on palms or walk your hands forward so you can come on your forearms. Maybe go for a bit of a cat, a bit of a cow spine here. The more you lengthen your heart forward, the more you may feel in the, the supine. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. On your inhale, walk your hands back, face forward, knees turn up. Exhale, both knees drop to your right. Keep that figure four in the low body as you turn your hands to the back of the mat. Stay on palms or walk your hands forward, coming on forearms. Lengthen the heart forward and through if you want. Take another deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Then on the inhale, let's walk your hands back, please. Face forward, knees turn up. And then let's uh, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, take the back of your hands to the outside of your ribcage. You've got something to say to somebody. And then bring your elbows to the inside of your knees. Carefully draw your knees together for a big uh, wrist and shoulder opener. It's called a broken wing pose. Kind of sad, but uh, it's great for uh, the shoulders. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Then carefully inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Lengthen through your legs, you're in Dandasana. Kick through your heels, sit right on top of your sit bones. Exhale, take a T-twist to your left, press through the palms. Take a nice long inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel your hands behind you, go for a dip, reaching down. Inhale, come back up, kick through the heels. Twice more, exhale, dip it behind. Inhale, coming up. And then exhale, dip it behind. Inhale, coming up. Stay in this twist, hands go to the heart in prayer. Stay where you are, or if you want to, dip it down and a little bit forward for your twist. Keep kicking through the heels. Nice long inhale. Awesome, beautiful. Inhale, reach back up, overhead. Exhale, T-twist to your right. Nice long inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the back, go for the dip. Inhale, come back up. Twice more, exhale, dip it behind cartwheel. Inhale, come back up, kick through the heels. And then exhale, go for the cartwheel. Inhale, come back up, T-twist. Exhale, hands to the heart. Stay up in the twist or come down and forward, hooking the outer left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Stay with your breath. Keep kicking through the heels, keep legs activated, your core will activate as well. Then on the inhale, come back up, reach both arms up overhead. Exhale, take your hands down, scoot down a bit so you can roll onto your back. Draw one knee at the time into your chest, extend the legs up. And then hands by your side, sweep the feet towards the crown of your head as if you're about to take a plow, but you're in an upside down forward fold. Maybe wrap your arms around the calves, maybe even grab the heels for your upside down Paschimottanasana. On the inhale, lift up a bit, cross the ankles, 
Exhale, I'm gonna rock forward. You can come over your shins or hop it back. Find your vinyasa of dog to your downward facing dog. I'm gonna walk it back a little bit. All right, let's get into some upper body strength here. Some fun yogic drills. Let's come forward into a plank, then to hands and knees, all fours. On the inhale, lift your right leg, bend the knee, flex the foot. Exhale, uh, find a bit of a cow spine. Inhale here, exhale, knee to nose, cat spine. Inhale, leg goes back, bend the knee, flex the foot. Exhale, shoulders forward, elbows bend back, tap the chest and chin down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg goes back. Exhale, forward, elbows back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, knee to nose, stay with your breath. Inhale, leg goes back. And exhale, go for the tap. Inhale, come up. Exhale, please untuck your left toes for balance. Draw the right hand to your heart and then kick through your right leg forward in a diagonal, kind of like a tiger leg. And then please send the leg back, right hand come down. Please retuck your left toe, shoulders come forward, elbows back, go for the dip. Then let the left, right knee come down, right foot touches down. On top of toes, inhale, slide forward on your belly. Now extend your right arm out to the side, palm facing down. I'm gonna roll onto my right side, my legs are stacked. Then extend your right leg forward in front of you like a 90-90. Yes, beautiful. Then on the next uh, inhale, extend your left leg up to the sky. Reach up with your left hand, yogi toe lock for the left big toe, so you can kick through the heel. Roll a little bit further back if you want more in the shoulder opening. Then carefully uh, release your left foot, let it go along behind you. Keep your legs in that 90 degree angle. Use your left hand to prop yourself up. Come up to forearms and face the front of your mat. Kind of like the frothed triangle but on the ground. Then bend your left knee like that figure four. Bending your right knee, taking your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Walk your hands back. Please use your core strength to pivot on the left knee, figure four, tabletop. Tuck your left toe, send it back, figure four, downward facing dog. Find your breath. You can unhook here. Work, take it forward into a figure four plank. Perhaps you want to figure four chaturanga or unhook, then release, upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catch your breath. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Second side. Oh, my light went out. Let's take it forward into all fours. And then uh, let's lift your left leg back. Bend the knee, flex the foot. Find a little cow spine. Exhale, cat spine as you draw your knee to nose. Inhale, send the leg back, bend the knee, flex the foot. Stay up or exhale, shoulders forward, elbows back, chest and chin touch down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, knee to nose, go with your breath. Inhale, leg goes back. Exhale, shoulders forward, elbows tap. Inhale, come up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it back. And exhale, go for the tap. Inhale, come up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send the leg back, please. Untuck your right toes, flatten out the foot. Take the left hand to your heart, and then extend through the left leg, kick through the heel, find a bit of a tiger lunge. So we'll say this, so we'll say. Then send the leg back, left hand down. Please reach up your right toes. Bring it forward, chest and chin down, down. Then let the left knee come down, left toes touch down. On top of the toes, inhale, slide it through, low cobra. Extend your left arm along to the side, beside you, to the left, palm down. Roll onto your left side, legs are stacked. Then take your bottom leg, your left leg forward. In front of you, find that 90-90. On the inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky, reach up with your right hand, go for the yogi toe lock. Give the leg a bit of a kick, a bit of a pull. Stay with your breath. Then carefully releasing your right leg, let it go along behind you. 
Use your right hand to uh, prop yourself up. Keep the legs in that 90-90. Come to your forearms and face forward. So you can bend your right knee, back leg, 90 degree angle. Bend your left knee. Take the left ankle on the right side. Walk your hands back. Use your core strength. Pivot on the right knee. Tuck your right toes. And then let's send it back. Figure four down dog. You can, of course, unhook here and go for a regular vinyasa or come forward, figure four plank, maybe figure four chaturanga, then unhook, upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Take a nice long inhale through your nose. Sigh out. All right. Please bring your big toes to touch at the back of the mat. Lift your heels and then tiptoe your way forward to the front. Keep your legs long for as long as you can. Maybe even walk the feet between the hands. Find a halfway lift on the inhale. And then exhale forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's have a look at a couple rounds of Surya A. Variations though. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. First round, let's just step it back to a plank pose. I like to go slow. Let's take it five count, shoulders come forward, take it down in five, four, three, two, one, to your upward facing dog. Beautiful breath in, beautiful heart opener. Exhale, down dog. All right. Now I'd like to give you some variations. You can stay in your regular downward facing dog. Makes you very strong in mind body. If you want a little bit of extra spice for some shoulder strengthening and opening, you can tag along with me. I'm gonna come forward into a plank. Then bring your forearms down one at a time or both at the same time. Your seat goes up, you're in dolphin pose. Look at your thumbs. This might be enough. On the exhale, tap your forehead between the thumbs. Inhale, shoulders over elbows. Weight goes back. Maybe one more time, maybe twice more. Exhale, tap the forehead. Inhale, shoulders over elbows. One more time if you want it. Exhale, tap the forehead. Inhale, shoulders over elbows. If you're in dolphin, look at your feet. Then lengthen through your arms, both at the same time or one after the other, back to your downward facing dog. Woof. That'll make for strong shoulders. Please bring your big toes to touch, back of the mat, roll your shoulders over the wrists, look between your thumbs. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, look forward, feet forward. Halfway lift on the inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose, exhale, hands to the heart. Two more rounds, two more variations. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back or hop back directly into Chaturanga. Take it up, dog, to your downward facing dog. All right, so uh, the next thing can look intimidating, but it's actually quite a little bit more momentum than you may think. Again, staying down dog, it's a beautiful place to get strong. I really mean that. Uh, otherwise, come along with me. See if you can uh, bring your right forearm down to the ground. Your left elbow will bend a bit. Then lift your right leg up to the sky. Simultaneously, if you can, exhale, lengthen through your right arm, right knee to the armpit or tri tricep. Inhale, right forearm down, leg up. Go with your breath twice more. Exhale, lengthen through, knee to tricep. Inhale, forearm down, leg up. And then exhale, lengthen through the arm, knee to tricep. Inhale, forearm down, leg up. If your forearm is down, lengthen through, you're in a right dog split. If you run down dog, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot through between your hands. 
Inhale, standing split, left leg lifts. Tend to fingers, fist blocks. Look at your left foot in the sky. Flex the four toes, face down. Then lift your heel as high as you want. That'll make your back body really strong. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, double tap, forward fold. Inhale, come all up, or Vahastasana of hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Just one more round. Stay with your breath. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, dive it over your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fat back, prepare. Exhale, take a step, a hop or a float. Upward facing dog to your downward facing dog. So if you're staying in your down dog, use each exhale to deepen, each inhale to take a slight break, slightly backing off. As always, try not to press down in down dog, but press forward. And with that softening in your knees, your hips will go way higher and way more back. So the weight shifts back and doesn't stay in the front of your body. Otherwise, bring your left forearm down and then lift your left leg up to the sky. On the exhale, lengthen through the left leg, knee taps to tricep elbow. Inhale, forearm down, leg up. Twice more, exhale, lengthen through, knee to tricep. Inhale, forearm down, leg up. One more time, exhale, knee to tricep as you lengthen through. And then inhale, forearm down, leg up. If your forearm is down, lengthen through the arm, you're in a left dog split. If you're in down dog, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot through between your hands. Inhale, standing split, right leg floats. Let the head drop, check out your right foot in the sky, toes face down, please. And then lift that right heel as high as you want. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, double tap, sigh out, flutter out. And then let's find another halfway lift. Heel toe your feet about a little wider than inner hips. Go for Yogi Toe Lock, first two fingers around the big toes. Inhale, find a little halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold over your legs, bending the elbows. The more you bend your elbows here, the more you're gonna draw yourself into the legs. Stay with your breath. Catch your breath. Each exhale that you take gently stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system. So each time we exhale, we have an opportunity to catch our breath and to calm ourselves down. So make them count, draw them out. Carefully release those toe locks, halfway lift as you heel toe your feet underneath you. One more time, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, or Bahastasana. Up hands pose, exhale, hands to the heart. So you can uh, bring big toes to touch, heels apart. Or please at least line up knees over first and second toes. As you bend your knees, sweep your arms up, chair pose. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart, twist to your right. Taking the outer left thigh to the outside of your right thigh. Outer right, outer, outer, that outer left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Right, I know what I'm doing, beautiful. Stay here. Or take your hands down to your right. Just pop on the balls of your feet. That's enough. I use both my triceps. It requires a little deeper twist. You can do one tricep. It requires more strength. I'm going to line up triceps, outer right thigh. Look forward. Maybe dip the weight forward, side crow. Your parjra bhakasana. Maybe scissor bottom leg forward, top leg back. Kundanyasana one. Then on the exhale, let's find a forward fold over the front of your mat. A halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, take a step, a hop or float back. Upward facing dog on the inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath, big toes touch. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step the foot forward and through between the hands. Left foot goes a bit to the left, heel down. Inhale, coming up to your warrior one. So finding your feet. 
As always, please drive like crazy through the outer blade of your back foot. It will allow your tailbone to drop a little bit, lengthening you through the spine. And please relax your right toes. Take your hands behind you, interlace the fingers, stay committed to the lunge. Inhale, pull your heart open. Exhale, go for humble warrior. Devotional warrior, heart, chest, and chin lead. Allow the head to drop. Stay in your warrior one, keep the bind. Inhale, pull yourself back up. Let that right thigh sink, open up the heart. And then exhale one more time, go for humble warrior. Stay with your breath. Mindfully release your bind, frame your right foot. Find blocks, set the fingers, gently lengthen through the right leg for a moment, give it a break. Now we bend your right knee and take your hands on the inside of your right foot. This might be enough for you. Or slide your right shoulder underneath the right knee. Grab the outside of your right hand, ankle with your right hand, inside of the ankle with the left hand. Maybe allow the head to drop. Maybe even take the back of your head behind your ankle. Stay rooted through that back foot, please. And then carefully let's release. Frame your right foot, pop on the ball, the left foot, knee down on top of the toes. Go for a half split here, Ardha Hanmanasana. Give yourself a beat. Next inhale, weight comes forward, rebend your right knee and heel toe the foot over to the right. I like to lengthen my lunge and slide my left knee further back so you can look forward. Inhale, reach your right arm forward, up and back. Exhale, go for your tail grab. As you bend the left knee, pinky toe edge of the foot. On the inhale, pull your left foot further down towards the ground, heart opens up to the ceiling. And then exhale, tap your forehead to the inside of your right ankle. Inhale, come up. Now if you want to, you can also come onto your forearm as you do this. Exhale, bow it down, take the tail with you. One more time, inhale, pull your heart open to the ceiling. And then exhale, bow down, take your tail with you. Inhale, come up, back onto the palm if, if you were in your form. Carefully release your tail, left, right hand comes down. And then draw it back for a little wider half split. Then please re-bend your right knee. You can stay here, maybe you want to come on palms. As I got one more variation. You can also slide your right shoulder underneath your right knee as you bend your left knee and reach back with your right hand for the big toe edge of your left foot. I'm gonna shift my weight forward and look forward. So you can take another breath and then carefully release the tail if you have it. Walk your hands back, heel toe your right foot underneath you. Let's tuck the back toes. And then through a bit of a standing split, I'm going to lift my left leg, reach back with your right hand as you bend your left knee, big toe edge of the left foot, to grab it with the right hand. And then inhale, open up into your revolved half moon with the bind. Give the tail a bit of a push, a pull. We're going to then move into super soldier. I'm going to take my left hand a little bit further to my left. Release your left foot and bend your right knee. So you can take your right shoulder to the inside of the right thigh. I'm going to reach again for the big toe edge of my left foot. And then lengthen through your right leg so you can face the left knee up to the ceiling. Steady gaze, steady breath. And then carefully releasing your left foot. Internally rotate the left leg. Find a forward fold at the front of the mat. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, bend your knees, reach the arms up, chair pose. Exhale, hands to the heart, twist to your left. Take your time. Outer right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. You got it right this time. Stay with your breath, level out ankles, knees, hips. Breathing into your beautiful lower back. Take your hands down to your left and just pop on the balls of your feet, that's enough. Or line up the triceps with the outer left thigh. I'm going to lift up a bit, look forward, and then make that shelf with the upper arms. Teeter tottering, maybe bottom leg forward, top leg back. Kundanyasana, a one. And then take that back into a forward fold front of the mat. 
Inhale it halfway lift. Exhale your journey back as you want it. You can step it, hop it, float it, skip it. Sometimes I just like to take it to an up dog, back to a down dog. All right, let's then get to the second side. Big toes to touch. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step the foot forward and through. Right foot goes a bit to the right, heel down. Inhale, coming up, warrior one. Find your feet. Fully squaring off of the hips, not needed, not even really possible because your back leg is an external rotation. But you can always move the right side of the tor torso forward, drawing the left hip back a bit. Then draw your hands behind your interlaced fingers, stay committed to the lunge, inhale, pull the chest open, and then exhale, humble your warrior, allow the head to drop. Stay committed to the lunge. Inhale, pick yourself back up. Keep the bind. Pull the chest open one more time. And then exhale, go for your humble warrior. So you can fully let the head drop and relax. And then carefully let the hands come down. Frame your left foot. Mindfully, using blocks if you want to, lengthen through your left leg. And put out that fire for a moment. And then rebend your left knee. Take the hands on the inside of the foot. This might be enough. Or take the left shoulder on the you know, underneath the left knee, hand on the outside of the foot. Grab the outside of the left ankle with the left hand, right hand on the inside of the ankle, and maybe even snuggle your neck behind the ankle. Keep anchoring through that right foot. Carefully undo that, lifting up, framing the left foot. Pop on the ball of the right foot, undo the toe tuck, knee comes down, and then draw it back to a half split. Little piece of heaven. Next thing, the weight comes forward and reach up. No, you toe the left foot over to the left. Sorry, long day, many classes. Maybe lengthen your lunge a little bit, look forward, and then inhale, reach your left arm forward, up and back, going for your tail grab. Feel free to let that left leg splay out. Inhale, pull your chest open to the ceiling, pull the tail further back, and then exhale, bow it in, maybe tap the forehead to the inside of the left ankle. Inhale, coming back up, shine your heart up to the ceiling if you want to, take that onto your forearm, and then exhale, take it back down. One more time, inhale, coming up, shine your heart up, and then exhale, bow into yourself, quite beautiful. Mindfully, as you come up, release your back tail. The left arm comes down, coming onto palms, and then take that little wider half split from an angle. And then please rebend your left knee. Maybe you want to stay here, and this was a variation. Maybe you want to come on forearms and just look forward. Beautiful place to be in. Or slide that left shoulder underneath the left knee. I'm going to bend my right knee and reach back with the left hand for the big toe edge of the right foot. Shift your weight forward. And then say hi to your uh, hip flex, your psoas, quads. Nice long inhale through the nose. Maybe side out. Carefully release your right foot. If you have it, come back to palms. Heel toe your left foot underneath your face. Tuck your back toes. And then through that standing split, Bend your right knee, reach back with the left hand, big toe edge of your right foot. Open that up into your bound, revolved half moon. Maybe you just want to be here. Or releasing the foot, bend your left knee. Take the shoulder, left shoulder on the inside of the left thigh. Please take your right hand a little further down to the right. I'm gonna reach back for the big toe edge of my right foot. Lengthening through my left leg, so you can turn your right knee up to the ceiling. Maybe even kiss the right heel to the right glute. Super soldier. And then carefully uh, let that go. Internally rotate the right leg forward, fold front of the mat. A halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's just take it back and down dog. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Prepare, travel back as you want it. Step, hop, float. I'm uh, stepping it back to down dog. And then when you get back to your downward facing dog, 
Take a brief child's pose or sit up on your shins. How are we doing? All right. So we've got one more way before we're gonna get into some deep stuff. Stay with your breath. All right, on the inhale, let's find all fours, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Please bring your big toes to touch. And then lift your left leg up to the sky. Just wanna prepare the left side of the front of your body. Bend the knee, open up the hips, stay here. Or tip it over to your right for rock star. We did this last time. If you want to reach back with the left hand, lift the left foot. Go for the pinky toe edge of your left foot and give the tail a bit of a push and a pull. Then carefully releasing that. The left dog split on the inhale. Exhale, left foot down, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step the foot forward and through between your hands. Lower your left knee down on top of the toes. Inhale, reach your arms up. For uh, Anjaniyasana, open the, the whole front of the body here. Try not to spill on your low belly, draw navel in and up. Carefully release your bind, exhale, sweep the arms forward, down and back. You can stay here, put blocks underneath your hands. Or shift your weight forward, bending your left knee, go for the top of the left foot. If you get a hamstring cramp, you're gonna have to release, try again, and maybe pull the tail back, lengthen the heart forward. If you want, release your right hand, take your right forearm to the right knee, maybe index finger to thumb. I'm gonna flip my left hand, take the big toe edge of the left foot. Maybe even if you want to slide the foot into the elbow crease, maybe reach your right arm up, bending the elbow, go for the shoulder opener. Stay with your breath wherever you are. Deep inhale through the nose. And I carefully release the foot. As the tail comes down, go for a half split. Maybe you want to go for a Hanumanasana. Might be accessible after we did a like 17 half split. A little bit of that delicate conversation between holding yourself up and allowing yourself to be supported by the ground. Take another breath. And if your leg is long or longish, so you can draw it back or re-bend the knee, please. Tuck your left toes, drive to the heel, and then let it come down. Warrior two on the inhale, find your feet. So normally with warrior two, you look over your front hand. Let's uh, keep warrior two legs, but let's look at the left long edge of the mat. Interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, pull the fist down. And then exhale, find your wide forward fold from here, but stay in the warrior two legs. Try not to let the right knee collapse in. Stay with your breath. And then carefully let the hands come down. Halfway lift. Inhale. Side angle. Right hand on the inside of the foot. Go for a block if you want to. Any variation that you want to. Maybe extend it or go for the bind. Keep the bind if you have it. If you don't, let the left hand come down. We're going to turn our right toes to the left for a bound or non-bound wide forward fold. Heel toe your feet underneath you until there's about two and a half feet between your feet. If you did not bind, maybe grab a towel or a strap. As you reach your right hand between your legs, palm facing up, left arm up, and then wrap around your right thigh with towel, strap, or peace fingers. Let's try to lengthen through both legs and through your chest open to the left. And then exhale, keeping the bind, but relax your knees and bow the head. You can do that once or twice or three times. Or come on the ball of your right foot. Inhale, look forward and up. Draw your right shoulder back, coming up to stand in your bird of paradise. Superhero in the heart. Maybe lengthen through the right leg if you want to. Stay with your steady gaze and breath. And then carefully take your right foot back down to the ground. Release your bind and heel toe your feet about as wide as a wide forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, turn over your right leg, you're in a runner's lunge. And then step your left foot next to your right forward fold. 
Inhale, pop on the ball of your left foot. Take your left hand to the top of your left foot. From the ground up, I'm going to take my left foot to the left and then draw the leg back for Ardha Chandra Chapasana. See if you can maybe take a block underneath your right hand or omit. Try not to hyperextend in the low back. Slightly tuck your toe. Give it a push, a little bit of a pull. And then carefully release your back foot. Giant step back, warrior two. Find your feet. Inhale, flip tip reverse. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the foot. Inhale, right dog split. You stay where you are, I'm just going to switch sides. From your right dog split, maybe walk your hands a little bit back. Exhale, tap the right knee to the tricep or go for Kundinyasana 2. Catching yourself, finding your flying splits. Take it back to a right dog split. All of that to prepare you for one pose. Step the right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lower the left knee down on top of the toes. Lizard round 18. <laughs> Come on your forearms. So you can hug the knee in. It makes the inner hip strong as well as open. Or perhaps again take that right shoulder underneath the right knee. Bend your left knee, reach back for the big toe edge of the left foot with the right hand. And it's like Lizard and Kundan Yasana too had a baby. It's a bit of a balance. I'm gonna lengthen through my right leg, maybe point through the toes. Take it once, take it twice. Falling is trying, take it back. Tricky pose, a lot of balance. Take it back to a right dog split. And then a vinyasa of your choice, one-legged regular or skip. To your downward facing dog. All right. And then let's go into our second side. I'll take a child's pose or have a seat up on your shins first. Yogi play time, right? So at that final pose, you're pretty much just on your forearm and the back, top of the femur, preferably not the kneecap. So it's a little bit of a balancing uh, trick. Let's take the second side, all fours, to your uh, downward facing dog. Bring your big toes to touch, and let's start by lifting your right leg up to the sky. Sorry, play. Bend the knee, open up the hips, stay there, or tip it over to your rock star, to the left. You can reach your right hand behind, lift your right leg, and go for the pinky toe edge of the foot for that tricky toe grab. Stay with your breath, pull it open, and then carefully release. A right dog split on the inhale. Exhale, feet together, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, dog split. Exhale, step the foot forward and through. Lower the right knee down, on top of the toes. Inhale, reach your arms up. And Asana. Take a moment, maybe interlace the last two fingers to catch your breath. Exhale, releasing that bind, arms sweep forward, down and back. So you can continue to reach back. Or perhaps bending your right knee, go for the top of the right foot, pulling the tail back as you pull your heart forward, weight comes forward. Maybe then release your left hand, forearm comes to the knee. As I'm gonna flip my right palm, big toe edge of the foot, maybe slide the foot into the elbow crease as you find the shoulder opener if you want it, reaching the left arm over your head. Stay connected to the core, stay with your breath. And then very mindfully, please release your back foot. Hands come down, and then draw it back to a half split. Maybe even a full split. I mean, I don't really like the word full split. As there's a lot of things in between. Half to uh, fully lengthening through. Give yourself a moment. Take it once. 
and take it twice. And if the leg is long, along it, carefully draw back. Rebend the knee, tuck your right toes. Drive to the heel, let the right knee come in. Heel will come in. And then come up into your warrior two and find your feet. Now keep your warrior two legs. We're facing the right long edge of the mat. Interlace your hands behind you. Pull the fist down. And then exhale, go for your wide forward fold with the back body facing that right long edge of your mat. Breath, breath, breath. Mindfully then release your bind, hands come down, find a halfway lift. Side angle over your left leg, hand on the inside of the foot, go for a block if you want. And then go for that bind if you want it. Steady breath. If you have the bind, keep it. If you don't, take your right hand down. Let's turn the left toes to the right for a bound wide forward fold. Then heel toe your feet underneath you until again there's about two and a half feet between your feet. Grab your strap towel if you are not binding, then reach your left hand between your legs, palm facing up, and then wrap your right arm around. You're giving your left thigh a hug, strap towel or bind. Try to lengthen through both your legs, turn your chest open to the right. Beautiful uh, shoulder opener, hip opener, hammy uh, stretch. Do that a few more times, it's a great prep and opener. Or pop on the ball of the left foot, look forward and up as you bring yourself up to stand, straighten through the arms, superhero on the heart. Maybe if you want to lengthen through the left leg, take it once. Steady breath, take it one more time. And then carefully take that left leg back down to the ground. Release your bind and heel toe your feet wide for wide forward folds. From your right forward fold, inhale a little halfway lift, flat back, turn over your left leg, runner's lunge. Exhale, step the right foot next to the left, forward fold. You know, halfway lift, pop on the ball of your right foot, take your right hand to the top of your right foot. From the ground up, Ardha Chandra Chapasana, take the leg out to the side, open it up. Find that beautiful front body lengthening. Be as light as you can in your bottom hand. And then carefully release your tail, giant step back, warrior two, find your feet. Inhale, we'll flip tip reverse. Exhale, cartwheel it down. Pop the ball of your right foot, inhale, left dog splits. Again, you stay where you are. I'm gonna switch sides. From your left dog split, maybe walk the hands a little bit back. You can tap the left knee to the left tricep or go for Kundanyasana. And number two, catching yourself, flying splits. Take it to a left dog split. And then step that left foot on the exhale to the outside of your left hand. Right knee comes down on top of the toes. Go for your lizard. Beautiful. Stay with your breath. Or take that left shoulder underneath the left knee. I'm gonna bend my right knee, reach back with the left hand, big toe edge of the foot. Shift your weight forward, look forward, maybe you wanna be here. Or carefully, mindfully, shift your weight a little bit to the right. Maybe lengthen through your left leg. Stay with your breath, take it once, take it twice, and the foot comes down. Release your right foot, prop yourself back up, take a left dog split on the inhale, and then a vinyasa of your choice that you wish to take. And I'll meet you in down dog. Nice long inhale through the nose. Side out. Let's uh, then come forward to uh, hands and knees. Have a seat. Swivel your legs out to one side. Lengthen your legs forward. Kicking through your heels. Then please take uh, the sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh. Or take the pinky toe edge of the left foot to the Inner hip crease of the right leg. Reach your left arm around, either grab the big toe or just take it behind you. 
I'm gonna reach my right arm up, turn my chest to my left, and then reach forward, go for the big toe lock. First two fingers, right hand to the right big toe. Then lean back a bit and turn your left shoulder to the back of the room. Keep kicking through your right heel. Find your breath. Then on the inhale, release the toe in front, the right, reach your right arm up. And then exhale, find your forward fold over the leg. Either Janu Shasana or that Ekapada Bada Padma Bashi Pashi Mottanasana. That one legged half lotus bound, half lotus forward fold. Take another breath. And then the, let's come up on the inhale. Lengthen through your left leg. Take your hands behind your fingertips towards your seat. Go for it, reverse plank. Tricky one. And then take it back down. Bend your right knee and take the sole of the right foot to the inner left thigh. Janusha Shasana, or take the pinky toe edge of the foot to the inside of the left inner hip crease. Reach your right arm around, big toe edge of the right foot. Inhale, reach your left arm up, and then turn your chest to the right. Exhale, reaching forward, yogi toe lock, first two fingers, left hand, left big toe. And then see you can lay back and roll your right shoulder back. Stay with your breath, keep kicking through the left heel. And then carefully on the inhale, uh, let that go, reach up. And then exhale, find your forward fold over the leg. Deep inhale through the nose, maybe side out. And then inhale, come back up. Lengthen out through your right leg. Hands go behind. Let's give reverse tabletop oh, one more try as you come up. And then take uh, the seat back down. One more little uh, play time as I really got you into your hips. Let me uh, shift sides here. I'm gonna take my right leg over my right shoulder. And if you're like, yeah, I'm hopping off the train, we mean Shavasana. Take my right hands beside me so you can point through both toes, maybe lifting up. And then if you want to, have a seat. I want to step my left foot down, walk my hands a little bit further back, lifting my hips, maybe lengthen through your right leg, and then take it back down. Let's switch that. I'm going to lengthen out through my right leg, draw the left leg over my shoulder. And then take the hands beside your hips, point through the toes, maybe lift up, and then bring it back down. I'm going to step my right foot down, walk my hands a little bit further back, then lifting your hips, maybe lengthen through the left leg, and then bring it back down to your seat. And then let's completely blossom open into Shavasana. If there's anything that you still like to take, take it. A plow pose might feel nice, especially if you did not do that little leg extension that we did a moment ago. And then find your breath. Maybe eyes closed, soft gaze. Coming back to this idea, as you move through your body, you let go of that stuck stuff, creating space for a new. Allowing kind of that free flow of energy just to move through your body. Softening the whole back of your body into the mat. Skin around the eyes, the ears, softens. Now, of course, you can stay here for as long as you want. I'm going to slowly 
offer an ohm, you're more than welcome to take it on your back or to join me in a seated position. You can always draw the hands to the heart or one hand to your heart. Gently bow your head to your own inner teacher. I humbly like to thank you for honoring in your practice with me, for playing, for laughing, for having a little good time, and for perhaps allowing for some expansion to take place in your practice, mind, body, spirit. Feel free to join me in the vibrant sound of OM if you wish, or just enjoy those sound vibrations. Take a nice long inhale through the nose to sigh out. And inhale to OM if you wish. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me getting dark earlier now in New York. Uh, reach out with any questions. I don't think I'll be able to upload next week as um, I'll be away for a week due to the holiday, um, but I'll definitely be back the week after if I can find a moment to uh, record. Might not even be here, it might be from the, where I'm going. Um, I'll try to do my best, otherwise thank you so much for your patience and enjoy. Uh, whatever I have uploaded up till now. Thanks so much. Namaste.